So when I started teaching computer science, um, I'd been a math teacher for almost 10 years. So I was very comfortable um, in the classroom. I was comfortable with students and I was comfortable with my content. Uh, computer science, not so much. I took computer science in college, but that had been a few years. Um, and learning something and teaching something were two different things. Um, but as I transitioned to the computer science classroom, I learned that um, just being honest with my students, that I am not an expert um, and that we could all learn it together. And it was okay to have questions, that that curiosity is something we should embrace. Um, and if I didn't know the answer, we would find it together. Whereas a traditional classroom, you state the learning targets at the beginning, you do the work, it's backwards in a CS classroom. And although that's really scary, it does take the pressure off because you're allowed to be confused and you can show that as modeling to students. Like, look, I'm confused as to how this works. So in addition to students having a growth mindset, I hope that you as a teacher also have that growth mindset for yourself. When you make a mistake, um, don't be afraid to show it and say, oh, I made a mistake. Because when your students see that as an example, that mistakes are embraced and that you learn from them, then they will be encouraged too. And you know, you need to have grace on yourself as a teacher, especially if you don't really have that much experience in computer science. And I hope that with this curriculum, you guys will be able to do amazing things and you are gonna learn with those students. I remember my first year when I was teaching computer science for the first time, I didn't know anything more than my students did. I'd never actually taken a course on computer programming. I'd never actually written any code aside from some random puzzles online or something like that. And so I was really going along with those students the first year and, and learning with them. And that was something that I just leaned into. And it's something I think it's important that you embrace and accept. It's not something that you should hide from your students. You should let them know that this is a problem solving experience that you are going through together. And you wanna go through that together fearlessly. Being able to lean in with those students and solve problems with them, to, to sit next to them and try to figure out what's going on with their code, it can be something really fun and you need to let it be fun and, and embrace that experience together.